Morning, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to start the video out a little bit differently. We have to because we have to say a massive thanks to Sneaky Fish Show for sponsoring the video. I'm making my way down the east coast of Australia and they reached out to me and said we'd love to sponsor videos. They've sent me a giant box of lures. We're gonna we're gonna set that down for a minute. They've sent me a giant box of lures to use in today's video, but not only for me, for you guys, they've also made 10% off their entire website, except for electric motors and live well tanks. So 10% off their entire website, rods, reels, line, you name it, 10% off. Use the code word TURTLES10 and click the link in the description after the video and go and order yourself some goodies. So massive thanks to Sneaky Fisho for sponsoring the video. Let's check out what they sent me. So they've sent me a few Arashi cover pops, a few Bass Day backfires, some Storm FX, some Storm S, S, Z, X, Z, X, S, X, far out. Storm Bloop Frogs, some Rapala Shad Dancers, uh, Rapala Rip Stops, the Minnows, uh, what else have we got? The Jerk Bait, Slow Sinking, Shadow Wrap, uh, that's the nude ones with the three times strong hooks. Uh, we have Jack Deeps, a double clutch, and two Zerek fish traps in the 95 and the 65 mil. They actually gave us a few more rip stops and a few more Jack Deeps, but I ended up giving them to some homeless people that were living around the ramp. But that's alright, we don't need that many lures. Let's get out there, see what we can do. Well, here we go guys, the start of my first little a day on the water. And we're gonna start out with, actually I don't even know what it's called, the Bass Day Backfire 65 mil little popper. Have a look at that little beauty. Isn't she gorgeous? So we're gonna start with, small enough that we should get brim and uh, brim jacks and trevally. Large enough that we should get the bigger jacks as well. Or what I typically get, no fish at all. So let's get into it. That was nowhere near where it needed to be. Oh, a good little pop for a... Oh, that's not cool. The little hooks. Get caught up. For a small little lure, this has a ginormous pop. Yes! Oh no! I think a little Trevally tried to come up and have a cry. Yep! Trevally, got to be a Trevally. Oh, Jack, we nailed one. <laughs> yes, you legend. You legend. There we go, 12 pound little Jack on the top water. Things really couldn't get any better at this stage. I'm ticking off Jacks as I'm heading south. Wow. There's a few little bust ups going on. There's been nothing but quietness all morning. And then this guy's come out and just pumped it. Here we go. And a spot lock. Settle petal. There we go. How good is that? Smashed the little jack on the surface. It's probably about 35, not much bigger, but he's cracker. Two little jacks for the season. Well, actually one big one, one little one. On the surface, gotta be happy, eh? Probably gonna change over to a different lure. See if we can tick something else off in the box that uh, Sneaky Fisho sent us. But I'm stoked with that. 
Really happy with how that little worked too, actually. There you go. Take a look at that. Little Jack. Spot dude. Ooh. That actually scared me. First lure ticked off, so I kind of think we should switch over to something else. I don't know whether we should try like a jerk bait or we got do you have any other surface tools? You know what, we're gonna stick with this lure until the sun comes up a bit more. Then we'll change over to something like a jerk bait, I think. Give that a crack. But for now, stick with the little bass day, because it seems to be working. I thought it was a little trevally. It came up and absolutely annihilated it. Just fishing little, um, little rock bars. Anywhere where there's a little structure and there seems to be bait holding around it as well. Duo Realis or Daiwa Double Clutch. I reckon we're going to give the little double clutch a run today. I've never used one before. So many people rave about them. Oh, my shoulder. What have we got here? Little Daiwa Double Clutch. Doesn't that look good? I hope we don't lose it. The trebles do not look like they're going to stand up to a jack, but... So this is it, little, um, I think it's a 75, little Daiwa double clutch, first time I ever used one, they've been on the market and been killing fish for a long time now, and this is the first time I've ever tied one on. So... We've got a little bit of a drizzle of rain happening at the moment and the one thing that my three years of fishing has taught me is if we've got this drizzly rain overcast, it don't switch from the surface. So what we're going to do, get the bait caster out. This colour because it's overcast, so I was right the first time. So we've got this little Storm Arashi. 80 mil sort of popper, eight centimeters, 14 grams. Oh, that looks good. Little feather on the back too. Get rid of the swim bait. Now I was pretty impressed with the first popper I tried this morning. Let's see if we can double up. Storm Arashi pop cut far out. My shoulder is rooted. Storm Arashi pop cover. Sun just came out when I tied that on. So this could be absolutely useless now. Oh well, we'll see how we go. Oh, oh, it's a trev, it's a big trev. Oh, he come out at it. No, no hit. Yeah. Oh, trev, must be a trev. Oh, I just see that nail it. Oh, holy moly, that scared the living daylights out of me. Oh, Whew. oh man, oh, sugar. Surface has been so quiet for so long, that scared the absolute bejeebas out of me. Let me just pause for a second while I let this uh, heart rate go down a little bit. Give this guy a swim. Spot lock. This is like the same size as the one that came up before. Oh, look at it. Good size Trev. He's around that 40, 45. Maybe close to the 40. Yeah, got a bit excited there. Second fish on surface this morning. How good is that? Beautiful. Yeah, buddy. On the Arashi a cover pop. Pretty stoked. Absolutely annihilated it. There he is, second fish of the morning, again on the surface, in the shadows. Sort of popping it out of the shadows, which is awesome. You come out and freaking know. All the baits so it's sort of like a, a shelf level on the, on the edge there, and all the baits just kind of sitting up on the shelf. So what I'm trying to work for is like a little bit of a jack or a trev action, 
coming off the shelf and them coming up and just nylat and that's exactly what this guy did. That's my theory anyway. We're gonna continue to work these shadows with this popper. And then we're gonna come back along here with a diver and see if we can pick up anything sort of off that shelf that might not have wanted to come up for a surface bite. And then we're gonna call it quits for the morning and come out this afternoon for some big flatty on the flats because we've got a big high tide this afternoon. Another thing I forgot to tell you, we've got good subtleties. We've had good subtleties for the last two. Ooh. We've had good subtleties for the last two days. And it's good subtleties for another day. I think Wednesday afternoon it changes to a northerly. So Wednesday, Thursday, probably going to be the best of time to jackfish this whole sort of whole sort of week. First day of the northerlies, you get the war, warm waters, and then you get the warm air temps as well. Oh! Little Jack come up right behind that log. Just slurped at it. They're getting pretty cunning, the old Jack. That, that one had to be almost behind that log for him to want to come and investigate. Well, that's it for the morning session. I'm going to come back out this afternoon and um, Fish for some big flatties. Here we go, afternoon session. I'm going to start at this same rock wall. Seems like we've got a bit of a storm rolling in. Fast pop. Did you see him come for that? My goodness. I think it's a travail, it can't be a jack. Oh, better be a bit careful. I'm only running 12 pounds. Oh man. Gotta be a travail. Sort of head shaking like one. Oh man. Gee, it's got some go. Got to give it to it there. Oh. Please be a jack. I know it's going to be a trap. Please be a jack. Oh. Here we go. Come on, Matt. Come on. Come on. Up you come. Gee. Come on, Matt. Come on. It's got to be a trev. There's no way a jack can fight this hard. We'd have a jack by now unless it's 50 plus. Yeah, trev. Look at the head shakes. Oh. I saw a little bust up right in against those rocks over there where I've been peppering. So I've turned around and pegged it up there. It must have been like fourth or fifth cast up there. Oh, yeah. It's a good size trev. Jeez, nailed that. There we go. Here we go, come on mate. Come on, you're done, you're done. Oh, good fight. Oh, good trip. I just upgraded those hooks too. Oh, there we go. Stonker Trev. Look at that thing. That's classic. Come out here, a little bit of a sort of overcast day, so I thought I'm not gonna put the divers on. I've been trying to get some fish on some divers. A little bit of an overcast day, I thought, nah, we're going to just go straight with the old um, surface this afternoon. Check that thing out. Absolutely stoked with that. That's my first sort of solid GT of the summer. Not that it's summer yet, but look at that. 
long and thin this fella like normally you get pretty fat ones out of this river i've got a few very long and thin he'd be close to be close to the 60 centimeters for sure how's that freaking legend just get a good shot of that beautiful get him out get him back in first time i've ever had pliers in my life ah broke me freaking hook That was quick. Whoosh. Oh, how's that? I just upgraded the hooks because the last ones did not match up at all. Like the 35 centimeter jack just totaled them, snapped off the upgraded hook, trying to get it out of the fish. Good to be on the board, the salvo though. It's got to be a win. We're in all sorts. Every time I catch a fish, because I'm always trying to get the footage and get it back in the water, we just kind of go into all panic stations. Starting to be a real fan of this backfire, this little 65 mil popper. Seems to get a lot of, lot of inquiries, especially this early on in the season, but if you're gonna get one, make sure to upgrade those hooks. I don't even know what color that is, but I got a little YS81 on the back and an STX 58 on the front. The ones they originally send you like get tangled so i've gone with a smaller one on the back and a bigger one on the front just so i don't have to untangle them while i'm casting if you have a look at that no touchy that's what we want Let's see if we can get something up good cast good cast hey, Jimmy. G'day, nice hat yeah. <laughs> how's the fishing going Oh, pretty slow. pretty slow. Just got a nice like 60 centimeter trev on top water just then. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I was pretty stoked. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's been just all these gnarlies and all the yeah. all the weed in the water. Yeah. It's not good. And needs a big flush out, but I don't know when the next big rain's coming. I'll let you keep fishing. Right, eh? Enjoy your paddle yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was your name? Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. You Thanks for buying a hat. See ya. Time to move on. <sighs> the stuff hitting it. We might be on here. I think we've pulled one of those. Um... Yep, the stuff hitting it. We might have pulled one of those all-time flukes in knowing what we're doing. <laughs> Let's put this popper back on. There's so much bait here. I thought I'd come back right on sunset. It seems like it's going to pay off. Maybe. Yep, no offence, but I reckon it's going to pay off. Did you see that bust up behind me? Did you see that? It's everywhere. I reckon it's Trev's moving through, but we're gonna put this little backfire back on. See all this, oh, look at that. See all this like surface going on right here, like all this busy, that's all bait. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a bite, but we're gonna try. That's just so much bait. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think we've hooked the bait. We've hooked the bait. Hopefully something eats the bait. We have two, look at them all. They're all mullet. Um, oh, do I count that as a fish? Probably not.
Yep. Oh, nope. Let's tighten that up a bit now, shall we? There we go. He's right underneath the mullet school. <laughs> Knew it had to be a matter of time. There's just so much mullet sitting in here. Oh man, he's just picked up some steam. Ah, there we go. Woohoo! Another fish. Small little GT. We're just gonna get this guy back in. There we go, tiny little GT, not really worth much, but it's a start. I reckon we'll get another one here, which is right on the edge of that gate pool. Am I excited this morning? Rods, we need rods. Rods with lures. Last morning of the sneaky fish ovid, I feel like I've eliminated enough water to have sort of like a chance in some more fish this morning. I'm gonna stay with this same one, it's been working. It's first of the incoming tide. And this is where we found a whole lot of mullet the other day. They didn't send them to me, but I got a couple of other lures that they sell that I might switch on today if the surface isn't working. Because yesterday, the surface was kind of going on in the afternoon. The water temps are a little bit cooler this morning. I don't really want to, don't want to miss out on fish because I only really ordered flathead lures and there's that much cornflake weed in the system. The flathead are just not playing ball at the moment. So, yeah, does that go through the tree? Yep. What's that? Is that a little jack? Can't be. It is too. There it is. Second little jack. Third for the season and we're heading south. That's awesome. They're chasing all these jelly prawns at the moment. I've got some other plans later on. It's been pretty quiet on the old surface. Look at the colours on him. Look at the colours on that thing. What a sick little fish. Beautiful little fish. Dirty everywhere you look. Nice little way to start the morning, little Jack. I've been working it super slow in close to the bank, keeping in the strike zone for the bank, for the Jacks. Just slowly sort of popping it out. And then when you get off the bank a bit, make them, make them decide or bring the Trevally into action with a bit faster pop. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. I'm not an expert at it though. after it. He missed it. Got him. 
<laughs> little tray. Little big eye. Little big eye. This popper absolutely slays. Yet to bring up a big jack though. Lots of little stuff. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Let it go. Here we go. First little big eye. He's gone. He's going to go tell his mates not to hit the popper again. I don't know if these are on the website. I might have to ring him, but I know he's got some gulps on there. We might just have to put these up. But we're going to see if we can get a nice little gulp prawn. He's got the five inch jerk shads. I don't have the five inch jerk shads. But I think he's got the three and a half or the three inch. And I'm just going to switch over from surface. Should really use the fish trap because I know he's got the fish trap. <laughs> on the fast oh man on the fast burn he's come up and nailed it what is it oh big eye oh man he took it at the boat <laughs> crazy 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 Freaking nailed that. Bang. Prawn does the job. And it's a quick release. Not really worth a photo on the big eye, unfortunately. Here we go, this is it. Little fish trap 65. Incoming tide. Bridge pylons. Oh man, what is that? That is quick. Did you see how fast that went? Holy moly. Oh, I've never seen my line cut that fast before. What is it? It's a little black GT. Holy moly. Check that out. That is the blackest GT I've ever caught. Unbelievable. That was first drop on the pylon. This thing is black hat. Ew. It's covered in slime. This is cray. Cray cray, whatever they call it. Holy moly. Check out the blackness on this GT. Look at that. Blackest GT I've ever caught, especially like river GTs, they're normally silver eyes. Never seen anything like it. Very cool, he's gonna be a big black reef GT when he grows up, because he's going back. He's good to go. Please don't bite me. Ooh. There he goes, first drop on the pylons. I thought the way that thing cut the water, I thought we had a monster jack on and I thought, oh no, we're so screwed. He just swam away from the pylons. I thought maybe it's a stupid monster jack. Turns out it was just a small little GT, but. Well guys, thanks for watching. I just got back to the Gold Coast. I'm um, hitting the road again tomorrow morning. I just came to pick up a brand new laptop. Whew, man, it was tough getting through that video on this laptop, so. Thanks for everyone for watching. Big thanks to Sneaky Fisho for sponsoring the vid. Remember, click the link in the description, go order yourself some goodies, use the code word TURTLE10, and I will see you back on the road as soon as I get some more fish. See ya.